These dogs need a shut up! My dad could see me filming right now and he probably thinks I'm crazy. Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. Yo, what the hell? They're like humping. As you can see by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about my hair. Okay, so if you have me on Snapchat, which if you don't, my Snapchat is kim 350s I posted, I wanna see like... <laughs> I need to close my door. Stop staring at me. What is the fuck out, I'm fucking naked. How do you feel about the coronavirus? That's how he feels. Ya no hay nada de comer puro pan. So I got my hair done like three weeks ago. I am gonna say where I got it done, but I'm not gonna say like who did it. I just feel like that'd be like a little bit too mean. But, but I don't care to say what place I got it at because honestly, like if you're planning to go there, don't. So if you live in San Antonio, you know the mall La Cantera. So I went to this place called Tony and Guy or Tony and the Guy or something like that. I'm pretty sure it's Tony and Guy. So the reason that I went to that specific place was because one of my old friends got her hair done and I really really liked her hair it was like a really nice like balayage and I asked her like who did it and stuff because I always get my hair done in Eagle Pass and I always have to drive two hours just to get my hair done and I really liked her hair so I asked her like where she got it she gave me like the girl's card I was like oh well that's convenient like I don't have to drive you know two hours just to get my hair done I could literally just drive like a few minutes so I made an appointment and I went with that specific girl. Okay, so at this point, I already have kind of like a balayage. I kind of just wanted like a touch up because my roots were already so dark. So this is, well, I'll just like put a picture in here, but this is how my hair was like when I went in. So it looked like this, but my roots were a little bit darker. And when I went in, I told her that I wanted my hair like this. Yeah, you see that compared to this like this is literally fucking orange I went in there thinking you know my hair was gonna come out like crazy similar to this just because I already had some like baby lights in my hair and then once she was finished with my hair like once she already had to like wash it and stuff some other lady washed my hair so when I was actually like you know dyeing my hair and stuff she was with another client so I didn't want to be like annoying or like bother her for some reason it didn't look that bad I was like fine with it and then I got home and I guess like with the lighting that I have from like my vanity I just saw that my hair was like super freaking orange and I just I really hated it and honestly you guys it was worse than this because I've been putting a lot of purple shampoo on it and it's kind of gotten like lighter instead of it being brassy so when I do my hair here in Eagle Pass she always does a really good job on my hair and I always love it you know I just didn't feel like driving two hours just to do my hair yeah so I left the salon and I paid $200 just to have my hair looking like this yeah like i literally got home and i told one of my friends to take a picture of like the back of my hair because and so i messaged elena the one that usually does my hair here in eagle pass and she literally even said like oh fuck like they bleached the shit out of your hair and i'm so glad that my hair didn't even like fall off or anything so then finally today i had a chance to come to eagle pass because Elena's gonna fix my hair, she's gonna kind of like tone it down a little. So that's how I wanted to film today. I wanted to show you guys like how my hair is gonna look before and then after. I don't even know if on camera you're able to see how like ugly it looks. Let me show you guys the back. Yeah, I don't know if I just sound like a freaking brat on this video, but I don't care. Like I paid fucking two hundred dollars, so I expect my hair to look. Like I fucking showed her. <laughs> and this is why you guys should always just stick to like the same hairstylist that you go to because not everybody knows exactly what you want. I hate it so much to the point where I wanted to dye my hair dark brown and just dye my extensions dark brown as well. Um, but yeah, so those of you who don't know, I do wear extensions sometimes, but I'm not wearing them right now. So it's 1.07 right now and I have my appointment at 2 p.m. So I'm not going to take my camera with me because I just don't want to be annoying with this big ass camera. So I'll probably just film a little bit on my phone. <laughs> I'm back from the hair salon so you could see my hair looks a little bit different I really really love the way my hair came out I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see so it's not 
that brassy anymore. I'm actually gonna. I almost fell. I'm gonna turn around and show you guys my hair. Oh, she toned my hair down a little bit and also dyed it on the top. Just. You guys, I also did something that I've never done. I also dyed my eyebrows a little bit. So my eyebrows are naturally black. Like, I mean, really, really black. And I have really thick hairs. So she kind of, like, dyed them just a little bit. So you could kind of see they're a little bit lighter. They look a little bit weird because I don't have any makeup on. So she charged me $90 for that, which isn't bad. I'll put her Instagram right here. So this is my hair without extensions. And I'm going to go ahead and put my extensions on. And show you guys how it looks by the way my extensions are curled but they've been like that since like the last time so i'm not gonna curl them today i'm just gonna put them on since i don't live here i have all my stuff in like a luggage and i literally just threw my extensions in there so these are the extensions that i'm about to put on so let's just hope they match my hair and i don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they understand Where everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am Okay, these are 22 inch Either 20 or 22 For sure they're not 18s because I used to get 18s all the time But then after a while I just realized that I don't like 18s and I want them longer than that because if you get 18s, yeah, they're like kind of long But then when you curl them, they kind of like go up a bit So I decided to just go with, you know, with longer than 18 So this is how my hair looks Ooh, you guys, I love it right now Say that we were more than friends Oh, Ooh, with like a cute tan. I don't know about these extensions. Is it me or like, are they a little bit lighter than my real hair? <laughs> oh my god, I literally just heard Cardi B's voice like, coronavirus. <laughs> I'm gonna go see how my hair looks in the restroom and I'll be back. You guys, I'm like not mad about my hair. I like really love it. Ooh. I feel like my mom's gonna like walk into my room and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Like this video of you guys like the way my hair turned out. I can't believe I just made a whole fucking video about me not fucking liking my hair. Let's go see if my mom likes it with like the extensions on and stuff. What is you doing? Put the light on, on your phone. And look at my fat ass. And look at my fat ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you like my hair? I put the extension though. Se mira bonito. Si, se ve muy bonito. Does it look like... I like it. Does it blend in with like my real hair? Uh-huh. Me gusta como se quedó acá arribita. You guys, it looks so pretty. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, not here. Oh, you guys, I've never showed you this, but my little brother also has, like, a pop collection, but I'm pretty sure he has more than me. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Follow me on Instagram. It's Kimberly Fuentes with two S's, and you could DM me and let me know, like, what other types of videos I should make. If you enjoyed this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't wanna go home right now